This is our first vlog ever. My name is Ash. It's Michael. <laughs> and this, yes, I'm this awkward in real life. This is gonna take some adjusting, uh, some getting used to being on camera, but we're here for it. It'll be great. We are going on four years of marriage. We live in the Atlanta area. This is just gonna be like a lifestyle kind of, yeah, just hanging out with us. We want to feel, we want to make you feel like you're our friends in real life. And we feel like we do some cool stuff sometimes and yeah. have good conversations and we think we're interesting. <laughs> and we thought that like we, we are obviously creating memories already. And then we know one For day sure. when we were going to have kids and a family, like it'd be cool to show them that. Cause we've talked about how we've seen our own videos from when we were kids and it's like such a nostalgic, nostalgic. trip and a fun thing to do so mm -hmm. if anything it'll be that and just like a record of that so for sure yeah the main reason we want to vlog and do this in general is for selfishly for us to look back on memories but also during the pandemic um i you've always liked watching vlogs mm -hmm. right yeah I got into watching vlogs, um, specifically like um, a few couple vlogs where they just do life and you watch. And during the pandemic when we were all home, I felt like I really connected with those people online and like they were my friends. And I just thought that would be cool to create that for others because I enjoy watching it so much and so does Michael. So yeah, I think that this will be fun and if it doesn't, if it's not fun, then we won't do it, but we just wanted to try our hand at it, and we think that we could be okay at it. <laughs> um, yep. So, yeah, that's a little bit about us. We have, debatably, the most important part about us is that we have the cutest dog you've ever seen in your life. His name is Murph. He's our actual fur child. He is chilling at home today, so you won't see him right now, but he's a blue healer that is about to turn three. Three, yep. Yeah. He's the best, we'll show him. I'm in college to be an astrophysicist. I started out as an art major and wanted to be a professor and then kind of had like a not so much midlife crisis and discovered that my true passion is astronomy. I wanna work for NASA, so I, that's kind of like my job, if you will, is I'm a college student and I should graduate in about a year and a half and then I have my own business, which I'm sure I'll talk about in future vlogs, but yeah. Um, we love autumn. We live and breathe pumpkin spice. It's the best time of the year. Fall fashion, winter fashion, we are here for it. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. We're obsessed I with fall. I hate being hot. Hey, hang on. Why do we live in Georgia? Uh -huh. I don't know. I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah, we're working on it. Um, but yeah, so on the trend of fall things, we are going to Bert's Pumpkin Patch. Apparently it's called Popcorn Farm too. So I've, just, never, that's so... I've never seen a popcorn farm my entire life. <laughs> but we've been going to Bert's since I think 2016. Yeah. And it is the I best. I haven't seen popcorn there one time. Also, this is the second weekend in a row that we've done a fall. pumpkin patch yeah. thing. Oh yeah, yeah, that really speaks to our love for all things fall. Last weekend we went to Jay Moore Farms, so we're going to North Georgia again today. Um, and I think at Dawsonville. We're just gonna pick out some fun pumpkins. Really the main reason we go is, tell them, Michael. Oh, for the pumpkin rolls. <laughs> yeah. These people make homemade pumpkin rolls that are literally to die life. for their life. Yeah, they're very, very good. <laughs> we'll probably eat our weight in pumpkin rolls today. So. Yeah, like we packed lunches, but the real lunch is going to be pumpkin rolls yeah. because, yeah, that's like a huge reason why you go to Burt's. They just have them nailed down. They're perfect. They're amazing. We look forward to them all year. So we're going to pick out some cool pumpkins. We're going with my family, so we're meeting them there. And yeah, we'll show you what Burt's looks like, maybe even the sunflower field yeah. and but our first stop will be to find a Starbucks. Starbies. We are coffee snobs. -ish. Oh, absolutely. We love coffee. Um, I'm, not I'm not pretentious snobbish. enough to say yeah. that Starbucks isn't good. Mainly, okay, we should clarify because we don't go to Starbucks for like 
drip coffee or like a yeah. cappuccino. We go for their seasonal stuff yeah. because their seasonal stuff is actually really good, we think. Yeah, if you don't like their um, pumpkin, pumpkin cream, cream cold brew, cold brew. like too cool for that, like, mm. Yeah, no. they're so good. And, and it's um, cool, like it's okay if you like them. Yeah, yes. Yeah, we're here to normalize. It's okay it's to be basic. It's also okay if you, basic. Like, <laughs> if you like going to very nice coffee shops, which we also enjoy doing. We absolutely do. We both do. worked in coffee before. Yeah. We respect the art of the barista. Absolutely. But I, am, I also <laughs> unashamedly love <laughs> yeah. pumpkin cream cold brews from Starbucks. It's life. Yeah. So we're yeah. going to find one of those on the way up there. I'm, yeah. We're driving there now. I should have, I was not super paying attention and I passed like two Starbucks already. Oh shoot. So we're just going <laughs> to, we're just going to find just one going on, with it. once we get on the interstate. Okay. All right, so we are, I mean, 13 minutes into our journey and we have already stopped so that Ashley can take a potty break. Hi, Michael, what can I do for you today? Um, hang on one second, you want the same thing? Can we get two tall pumpkin cream cold brews? Two tall pumpkin cream cold brews, anything else? Uh, no, that'll be it. All right, your total is 901. Awesome, thank you. Not a problem. Okay secured the starbies we've secured the bag bag secured <laughs> so you already know we got the pumpkin cream cold brew it's gonna be a great day so since this is our first vlog we figured we could give you a little backstory about us as people i'm sure some of you watching know who i am or michael is but we are going to North Georgia right now, and Michael is actually from North Georgia. I grew up in a little town called Homer. Homer. So, yeah, Michael's. We had a, we had a red light at a gas station. Very small. And for contrast, I grew up in the military, so I don't really have anywhere that I'm necessarily from because my family moved around every four years. But we, I grew up in the southeast. When we first started dating, um, actually, our first. One of our first dates, Michael took me to the mountains for the first time. I'd never been. Never we, been to the mountains. This blew my mind when I heard that. My my family was more beach people. We we prioritized beach over mountains. So Michael took me to Brasstown Bald, which is one of the highest points in Georgia, right? It's the highest point. The highest point in Georgia. You can see what seven states yeah, from the top. Say, that's what they say. Yeah, it's it's insanely beautiful. But yeah, that's where Michael took me for one of our first dates, and we actually had the DTR on the way home. That Just, was when we had the DTR? Yeah, on the way home from Brestown Vault. How many dates have we been on before that? Well, we went to Dr. Bombay's. That was the first time that we, like, officially had a date. Yeah. Ever. Like, hung out ever. The, that, the first date what was that Dr. Dr. Bombay's. Dr. Bombay's. And then, your friend told you not to go. Yes. Yeah, and my, not to let me pay for it. Yeah, my friend did not think that we would be a good match. She knew Michael, I didn't, and she didn't think that we would be very compatible. She knew, uh, knew me a little bit. Only a little bit. And she was like, I don't think that you guys would be a very good match, so I, I think that you bad. should have an out. Basically made a plan that if I didn't want it to be a date, I would pay for my tea. Saw Michael and I was like, He's definitely paying for my tea. <laughs> well, look at that assumption. You just, now she just assumed I was going to pay for her tea. You did. I was like, oh no, where's my wallet? <laughs> Our first date, I didn't really expect it to go well. Uh, Why? I just, you were just, you were just too pretty for me. So I had Gosh. set my expectations. We, when I got there, I had plans with my after. roommates, with the guys after. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. dude, I'll, I'll be gone for like 45 minutes. Like, I'll be back. <laughs> and um, four hours later, they were like, are you like coming back to the house? Are you dead? <laughs> so <laughs> I would say that my first date went really well. Yeah, it was a great first well, date. Well, I, I, I brought that up because I didn't, I was trying to figure out how quick I had the DTR. Yeah, because, okay, it, so I'm it, trying it to like- It wasn't like three days in where I was like DTR. I think it was like three weeks, three or four weeks, if that. It was December 12th because we got married on November 12th. Yeah. 
So you asked me December 12th, and I think that we started hanging out end of November. So it was pretty quick quick after. We did Dr. Bombay's. We explored- Dr. Bombay's is a tea- It's a tea, tea place. Shop, a tea coffee shop in Atlanta. Yeah. Ha have we been back since? No. Maybe once? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. It's good, I don't know why. It's, it's good. Just out of the way. And then we explored that. It's now fil for filming. It's a band. It, it was like abandoned. Now it's like a really, really popular film location in Atlanta. They actually filmed the Hunger Games, Hunger Games they in there. A bunch of stuff in there. They filmed a or lot of stuff in there. It's an old abandoned warehouse. An old abandoned and warehouse. Me and my buddies used to go and like do that and explore that kind of stuff. So they I did unsafe actually, things. I took Ashley one time. Yeah. Then we did Brass Ball, I guess, after that. I guess. When did we do the botanical garden with the lights and stuff? <gasps> oh, we did that. Yeah. Yeah, that was before Brass Town Ball we did too. Because that. that's when you told me that okay. you liked me. So it was like a month, a month. When it was, there's probably like a month probably. Of, us of us dating, and then maybe like, hey, are you gonna actually be my girlfriend? But yeah, that is kind of a little bit of our um, dating timeline. And now, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. You can kind of see maybe the mountains. Oh, we thought it'd be fun to kind of walk you through um, just kind of what we plan to vlog in the upcoming future. Last night we did um, dinner with our New York crew. So we're going to New York over Thanksgiving break. We're going to be there uh, for six days. Yeah, we're going to be there for six days. We adore New York. We want to live there. That is one of our goals as of right now in life, when I graduate from college, we want to find jobs in New York and live there for a few years. We visited in late 2018 and just loved it. So we planned a trip with um, two of our best friend couples. So literally like Michael's best friend, childhood best friend, known Seth. Him since kindergarten. Known him since kindergarten, it's so crazy. They're like still close as ever. I think it's so cool. <laughs> um, and my best friend Alexis, uh, and both of their significant others. We're all going to New York. We're, uh, we booked, during the pandemic, we booked this sick hotel. Like right next to the Empire State Building. It's like a boutique hotel. And we got a crazy good deal. Got a good deal on flights and everything. So we've had this booked for a while. And now it's like five or six weeks away. Yeah, we got together with them last night waited for two hours to eat at Super Rico, which is one of our favorite restaurants in Atlanta. But there was a miscommunication with our wait time um, last night and we waited two hours to be sat down. But we hung out with them. We meant to talk about the New York trip and kind of plan it a little bit, but that didn't happen because we all were kind of tired. Um, so yeah, we did that last night and then today's we're doing fall activities with my family, which will be so fun. So we're gonna do uh, the pumpkin patch and then we're gonna go back to my family's house. We're gonna carve pumpkins, watch a Halloween movie. Yeah. And yeah, just hang out. And tomorrow I have a lot of studying to do. I have a physics test on Monday. And one of my friends, she has two adorable French bulldogs and we're gonna let Murph and her dogs play in our backyard for the first time ever. So I'm so happy about that. Now, leading up to New York though, we have a lot of things going on and we're excited to vlog most of them. The weekend after that, we're going to Pensacola for my dad's graduation. So my dad is graduating with his master's in business and is gonna walk the stage and everything. So we're gonna go celebrate him weekend after next and then Halloween is the weekend after that. Murph's birthday is Halloween Eve the 30th and New York. New York basically. Oh our anniversary is in between your sister's birthday and New York. So our anniversary is November 12th. That. Yeah can't forget that. Oh I think yeah our anniversary is the weekend before we leave for New York so I think we're gonna go to a really fancy restaurant that we've been wanting to try called Marcel, another Ford Fry restaurant here in Atlanta. Apparently they have the best steak. Apparently. Apparently they have the best steak. So we will put that to the test. We
difference yet. Reminiscing about when we first started dating, it got Michael and I talking about just how like easy and effortless our relationship was from the get-go and thought it might be helpful just to share like, I don't know, I was telling him that when I talked to like my single friends about dating and how my experience was with dating the person that I actually ended up marrying that, you know, in previous relationships, there was always like a red flag of some kind, something that just like you had to put in work for. Not saying that like marriage isn't work or dating isn't work, relationships aren't work. They definitely are. Yep. But right off of the rip, it was just so easy, effortless. There were no red flags and like it, it wasn't hard to date, yeah. you know? Our whole dating relationship was so easy. Dating shouldn't be Should hard. not be hard. I think these are, this is just, obviously this is just our opinions. Yeah, yeah, but, we aren't marriage or dating experts yeah, by I, any means. But I think that if you are dating and you are having arguments and you're just not getting along and yeah, it's just not- Your family not and friends any, don't like the yeah, person you're dating. It's not easy, then just don't date that person. Yeah. You're date like oh, I feel like I'm talking to my past self when I say this like yeah. when you're dating, if it's not fun, just stop go date someone else. Yeah. Or don't date. Like it's supposed to be fun and it's supposed to be, you know, the whole process of finding somebody to so, share your life yeah. with that you know, it's easy to spend time with them and So I went into that into our relationship like that. And yeah. I was like if Ash and I are going to date and early on we're not having a good time or we start arguing about silly like i'm yeah. just not we're not gonna be together yeah yeah and our dating was very easy we didn't argue yeah and it's okay to, like if you're yeah. literally fighting if your relationship and, is tumultuous and people and if people are like people people know it. like hey you fight and you you guys seem to argue a lot it's like yeah listen listen to that advice yeah yeah listen to your friends and family see how they like observe your relationship yeah. while it's happening and Kind of take note of that and obviously like now our, our memories are extremely fun too being married but they're different because you have different responsibilities tied into them yeah. as oh, we argue now <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got married and immediately started arguing <laughs> we do argue that i don't want you to think that we don't like that's crazy <laughs> yeah it's unrealistic to say beings. that we don't ever argue but our whole point was you shouldn't be arguing while you're dating. Yeah, I think that was the whole point of this, of making this. I have to really bad. Okay. For sure, the Starbies. We're 24 minutes away. God. Torturing myself <laughs> by <laughs> continuing to drink it's that. It's meant to stay so fueling good. your bladder even yeah. more. Michael seems to be taking the initiative with picking the larger pumpkin. He kind of sits like perfect too. See the way he sits? He? Yeah. <laughs> That's a he. This is... Yeah, I like that one. I also think that um, this one is good. I also like this one. I like the stem on it. So basically, like all of these pumpkins, the big ones, they all have the side where they... Were laying in the dirt. Were laying in That's the dirt. That's how they, they grew in the dirt. Yeah, so you kind of pick one with one good side. I think I like this one. Yeah, I think so too. Got our pumpkin. Mom, Michael, and Dad are trying to decide on the perfect pumpkin for my parents' house. I think they're gonna go with a white one. Oh shoot! Pumpkin chunking! Pumpkin chunking! <laughs> Man, this is gonna be so heavy. Ryan's got it. Right, let's fill it with 150 pounds of pumpkins, then walk around. <laughs> Dad. Dad. Yeah. What's your favorite part about Burt's? Um, These nuts. Ryan. <laughs> Got him. Michael. Michael's getting in the car. That's my favorite part. <laughs> I severely regretted my decision to wear a sweater. Yeah, the flannel. <laughs> it was nice for pictures. It just it was not practical for yeah. what is it? it? Says it's 82 degrees outside right now. Yeah. So it was and a little hot. And there's no shade. Yeah, no shade. At Burt's. Keep that in mind if you want to go. But, but that's early October in Georgia. You can't really do anything about it. Unfortunately. We got a really nice big pumpkin. Huge pumpkin. Huge pumpkin. Yeah. Lots you can actually see one in the background. That's not that's, uh, my mother-in-law's pumpkin. Yeah. 
but uh, we're, we are having to deliver it, but yeah. we got a nice big pumpkin, a couple of small pumpkins. We'll have to, um, oh God. I can't We'll have to pumpkin. show y'all tomorrow. Um, we'll kind of straighten everything up and get the, the pumpkins put together. What do you call it? Fall like, or fall aesthetic, I guess? Pumpkin moment going on on our yeah. front porch. We have a long front porch and it's really fun to decorate for the holidays. We've made like <laughs> three different pumpkin hauls in preparation. Like Bert's is Literally kind of the- Literally three, that was our last one. Yeah, Bert's is kind of the finale of gathering pumpkins. But um, there's like a little church up the road from us that sells pumpkins. Got some there a few weeks ago and then went to Jay Moore last weekend and got a few. Yeah. And then Bert's was kind of like the final hoorah of pumpkin gathering yeah. and scouting but we got some really good ones i i don't think we've ever done that yeah. like that big of a pumpkin collection ever so that was really yeah fun. i don't think so either and then we got pumpkins uh ash's mom got us pumpkins for carving tonight because yeah. we're gonna carve some pumpkins yeah, and fun. like watch a fall movie and stuff but yeah yeah it was good there was a lot of people a lot of people um we're, we're mask wearers, so it was outside, which is great, you know, and um, Ash and I are fully back, so we feel comfortable going to most places. Yeah. But I would say North George is probably not the, the pinnacle of, the pinnacle of <laughs> everybody let's get vaccinated. Yeah. But outside of that, you know, there was just so many people, so we wore a mask, you know, here and there when we could, but so it was kind of hard to get some video. Murph's uh, in the background. Oh, right? yeah, I don't know if y'all can hear Murph. He's, you can't see him. He's back there in his, uh, yeah. his little safety crate, but yeah. Uh, we'll introduce y'all to him for sure, but yeah, the the mask consensus was that I don't know what percentage there, of there people there were people definitely wearing masks, which is great. I, I think Burt's is a place that people travel to, like people come from the city or they come from everywhere to go to Burt's. For sure, definitely coming out of Atlanta to go to Burt's and stuff. Um, so probably more than you would think. Obviously, just do what makes you feel the most comfortable. Yeah, if you definitely. Go up there. Yeah, but overall, it was fun it's one of my favorite traditions that we do holiday wise the ride made me very nauseous yeah it's riding up there with hilly. all the the mountain roads the curvy roads and stuff didn't set a wall for gorgeous Ashley, gorgeous ride yeah, it was very pretty drive i just the biggest thing was the temperature i wish yeah. it was i wish it would have been cooler but i know we say that every year yeah, though. <laughs> yeah when you go early october that's just it's not going to be cool so you can't say it, we are optimistic yeah it just, it just is what it is okay it is day two of vlogging we are on our way sunday 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 we are on our way to bellwood coffee in atlanta specifically east atlanta um, they have a few locations and the location we're going to is in collaboration with the victorian which is a really amazing plant shop here in atlanta they have exotic really cool plants and it's two of my favorite things plants yeah. and coffee it's yeah, the best if you follow ash on instagram or just keep continue watching these videos you're going to see a lot, a lot of, of a plants. lot of plants <laughs> i love plants we're just going to do a coffee and then come home i need to study for my physics test tomorrow Okay, 
So we have successfully or unsuccessfully yeah. bought the bell wood. <laughs> so really important piece of our favorite latte is the charred marshmallow on the top and they didn't have the blowtorch. So. Yeah. They had all the ingredients that we needed except for the blowtorch, which, I mean, I don't need it personally, but it's also fine because that's a fall drink and it's like, <laughs> it's still 82 okay. degrees. Yeah. These guys thought it was so funny that we were vlogging in there. Yeah. Well, shout out to them. Shout out to you, Volkswagen. Shout out to you, Volkswagen. But what did you get? We got a hot, dirty chai with oat milk and a scone. Yep. I love, love their chai. It's ridiculously good. I snagged the Ezra. What is it? It's uh, horchata, horchata and cold brew. Cold brew. I think that's about it. Yeah, that might be it. It's pretty, it's it's a light drink. It's really good. Specifically. Horchata. Yeah. <laughs> but you've known about the Victorians since they were at like Ponce. Uh, Ponce, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they, got they their own space. yeah, they used to be in Citizen Supply and then they moved into their own gorgeous space that's designed by my friend Allison actually um, and it's like on the first level of Ponce and then they opened up this space in collaboration with Bellwood. They're really nice. Um, the owners Libby and Carrie I believe. I mean we all like supporting businesses even more when we know that the people who run them are good people and yeah, we want to like support them you know that's a big part about it when you like know people that are trying to like chase their dream and like open a, like these guys and they're good dudes salty earth dudes yeah and when you get to support people that you like I mean it just makes it even better and then they make a quality better. like their coffee is fantastic yeah and they're like Bellwood amazing Bellwood's gonna blow up for sure I mean they're early We've had them, we've been having Bellwood since 2019, late 2019, yeah. because they have, their first location was like 10 minutes away from our house, um, closer to like West Side Atlanta. And we started going there and then they kind of blew up, you know, obviously because they're great. And then expanded into this location and they're actually renovating the West Side location right now. So once that, is open yeah, we'll be there frequently yeah the west side one is what less than 10 minutes from our house we drove i mean all the way to east atlanta so another like 20 20 ish minutes to get over yeah. here just to worth just it to come to the shop and see our body and yep. get a drink so yep worth it now i actually have to go home and study <laughs> which sucks <laughs> i'm not excited about it i'm gonna play video games probably i'm nervous i have a test tomorrow and it's gonna be a mother i mentioned that i am a physics student and yeah i have my second test of the semester tomorrow for my class principles of physics and it's a hard class um i really enjoy it honestly even though it's very challenging and difficult i really really like physics it's just i've said it before very counterintuitive to my instincts so yeah it's just learning everything from the bottom up um it's a lot of effort snack while we're out here everyone that is going to conclude this week's video thank you so much for watching we are so excited to do this uh, i know i speak for michael when i say that this is something that we've been wanting to do for a while so it feels very natural to do it actually we've got some fun stuff coming up in the future can't wait to bring you all along and yeah we'll see you next time